Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is all about a major, major, major Sephora haul. So I should have actually posted this sooner, but last week Sephora had their VIB Rouge event. Actually, I think it was just VIB event. I'm not sure, whatever, with the four uh, times the points. So I did go ahead to the event with my friend Nicole and I bought a bunch of stuff. But then, you know when you look around the store and you buy things and then you're like, oh my god, this is like so much stuff, I really need to leave some things behind. Well, I left some things behind and then I went back and I ordered them all online and then some. <sighs> the story of my life. Anyway, so what I did was I waited till all of that stuff came in the mail and I figured I would do the haul all at once versus a part one, part two. Um, also, what I did with the online order was I, I placed my orders in bits and pieces. So I'm a VIB Rouge, I don't have to pay for shipping. And you know, there's promo codes, so I wanted to get some of the promotions that they were offering. You know, when you spend $25 or $35, you get blah, blah, blah. So what I did was I broke it up into separate orders so I can get a bunch of things. I'll show you that later. So let's dive right in. So the first thing that I got was this um, Ciate, oh, actually it's Olivia Palermo for Ciate uh, nail polish and the color, actually it's funny because I had already made my purchase. I'm walking out of the store and I see this color and I'm like, what's that? I need it. So I snatched it, went right back to the counter and paid for it. So take a look at that. It is this gorgeous coral. I mean, it is so perfect. It's, um, you know, it's got a little bit of pink to it. Um, it's, it's not red. I don't know if it reads red, but it's definitely coral. It's just so, let's do, well, maybe you could see the side there. The color's so beautiful, and that's it on my nails. I love this color, and here's the thing. This is a one coat situation. This is one coat. That's all I did, one coat. Look how shiny. I mean, it's so shiny. It's such good quality. It dries fast. If you can get your hands on this, it is limited edition. This is the color Nantucket. It's spectacular. I did also get another nail polish by Marc Jacobs, and this one's called Petra. And it is this gorgeous shimmer. Um, it's got some purplish hues, like plums, not, not like deep purples, but like a, a plumish kind of metallic hue, and it's absolutely spectacular. Um, and actually, it's very, very fast drying, which I love. Like, if you're on the go, the other day, um, we were going out to dinner, and I hadn't done my nails. They were kind of a mess. <laughs> and so I literally, like two minutes before walking out the door with my kids in tow, I painted my nails and I just like walked out and two seconds later they were dry. So this is a really, really, really nice color and it is fast drying. So I'm loving it. I went a little crazy with NARS. NARS. I, I think actually the stuff I got might be part of the fall collection and I I just can't be certain, but it was the stuff that was on display. It's not, it's not anything they've had before, I believe. So the first thing I got was, this is their uh, lip gloss in Chelsea Girls. So this is the gloss. And it is this mauve nude pink. It's kind of like a pink, mixed into a, a, a like a beige nude and a peach like if the three of them got married and had a baby this would be the gloss that they would have okay you speak Carla right so um the color is so pretty I I'm funny like I love bold bright colors and deep colors and I love mattes but I also love a great nude. Um, and this is a great nude. I, 
I am in love with this gloss. Definitely recommend that. The um, Velvet Shadow Stick in Eagle Noir. I don't know, I don't speak French, so that's probably not a good um, way of saying it, but whatever the case. So that's um, the Shadow Stick, and it is retractable, which is nice. I'm in love with like olive tones for my eyes and my nails. Um, I, I kind of think that they actually look really nice on me, so um, I tend to gravitate towards those a lot. So this is actually the color when you, it looks quite dark on camera, but it's actually olive green and it is blendable. And this is what it looks like blended. It's bleeding into the lipstick a little bit, but. But it's a really beautiful color and I got it because I actually got a eyeshadow in, a NARS eyeshadow in, why do they have to make it so hard? Uh, Pacifay, and this is the color, which is another olive -y, sort of shimmery, metallic, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous shadow, and I'm going to put it right next to the um, shadow stick, which is the creamier version of this. It's lighter, but I feel like the two really complement each other. I could see myself wearing that and maybe using that as like a thick eyeliner almost to sort of smudge over over that it's just so look at those three together hi I mean ugh. so I obviously could not walk out of Sephora without those um I I'm gonna go out on the limb and say my absolute favorite 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 um blushes are the NARS dual intensity blushes there is just something about them when you put them on they just give you this instant glow they're so beautiful beautiful they come with a highlighter and um i have uh i have craving and i have okay so i have craving and frenzy which i adore and i and i use them uh, wet and I use them dry. I love them. Actually wet, if you spray a little bit of the MAC Fix It, let me spray a little bit of this onto your brush and then apply. Oh, my Lanta looks so beautiful. Okay, so, so I got another uh, NARS Dual um, Intensity uh, blush. My God, I can't think. This one is in um, Fervor and it's equally stunning. Look at that. I hope the camera can do it justice because this color in person is, this color here is so beautiful. It's like a deep rose gold, um, copper shimmer. It is just so, so beautiful. I'm absolutely in love. And then there's like this peach color right next to it, which I think is reading really bright on camera, but you get the idea. So this is beautiful. I'm so happy with it. As you can see, I've already been um, wearing it a lot and loving it so much. This is actually the first thing I spotted in the store, and I think I might have um, Snapchat snapchatted this if you um don't follow me on Snapchat, you can find me at Fashion Maven Mom. Um, I do a lot of swatching and fun you know, beauty stuff on there. Anyway, so this is called Brow Maker, and it is a new, I believe it's a Korean line, although I could be wrong. I've never seen it before, and what drew me to it was the packaging, because we all know I'm a sucker for great packaging. And this looks like a highlighter. Um, so you open it up. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> so you twist the cap off, just kidding. All right, and basically, you're gonna get this really strange looking contraption. <laughs> so this wand is basically consisting of two different types of applicators. You have the regular brush, and then you have like a, a pointy kind of flat 
uh, wand. So this one's intended to go ahead and shape the brow and then this one is used to come over. I have used this twice already and actually really like it. Um, I wasn't sure how easy it would be to work with but it's actually quite nice. I like it. I like the fact that it's so innovative and different so um, I'm excited to use it and the shade that I got is uh, light blonde, but they do come in various shades. So you can definitely check that out at Sephora. All right, so I did cash in 250 points that day because they have this really cool uh, Bite Beauty uh, set. And I like Bite lipsticks a lot. I think they're great. Um, and I couldn't resist the color. For those of you that know me know that I love a deep berry lipstick. So this came with a deep berry lip gloss and I'll swatch it for you actually I don't know if that's reading I'm reading pink I don't know but it is it's pink I promise um and then the other lipstick is pretty much the same color but it's um, like a matted I think actually the formula might be silk like a silky formula but it's not as shiny, obviously, as the lip gloss. And it came with this cute little mirror thing, too, which I thought was kind of cute. So on um, that day, we did get a swag bag, and it came with a whole bunch of stuff, which I'll show you really quickly. It came with a, I, I think, I don't know if this is full size, but it's pretty big. It's um, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in uh, lip gloss in um, Maverick and uh, it's like a mauve it's very pretty actually so i don't know it might not be a full size but it's definitely a deluxe um, sample get a lot of use out of it and the color is gorgeous 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 so that's the color right there this one here just really pretty a chloe um perfume this is actually something i want to try fresh rose face mask so that's nice. I like to try new face masks. I adore um, Benefits Port Professional. It's one of my favorite um, uh, pore hiding, concealing products. Um, I definitely really like it. And I save these deluxe samples for travel. I think they're great. Um, this is the Wild Rose. It's actually from Coors. And it's the Wild Rose Day and Night Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial which I have not tried, but definitely want to do so. It came with a Locatane. I call it Locatane. Is it Locaton? Locatu? Locati? Loc no, I don't know. Locatane um, hand balm. And I do like them a lot. And then uh, a Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser, as well as a Formula X uh, nail polish. So I thought that was a really nice little swag bag. The rest are all online orders. So one of the things that I've been wanting to try, see, I'm an it girl. Let's just get that straight. I'm an it girl when it comes to complexion, when it comes to, you know, those kinds of products like my, my face, my CC cream, my concealer, Bye Bye Under Eyes, pretty much my holy grail concealer. And um, the truth of the matter is I rarely branch out of that because I just love it so much that why mess with perfection, right? But there's been a lot of hype about um, a few products that really piqued my curiosity. So I went ahead and purchased some things that I normally probably would not and I'm really glad that I did and I will be reviewing some of these separately but I will share with you what I got. So the first thing is the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation. The color that I got is 125 or Y315. Um, my first impression was not overwhelmingly good and I think I attribute that to the fact that I might have over applied. I felt it on my skin. I hate to feel products on my skin. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing a foundation. So the first time I wore this, I kind of felt that way, to be honest with you. But after wearing it more and learning sort of how to apply it, I, I really like it. I think it's, it's wonderful and I love the stick application. I will be talking more about it later on a full review. So we won't waste any time with that. The next thing I got was the Tarte 
um, high performance uh, natural CC colored clay CC under eye corrector. Ooh, a mouthful. And I got it in light medium. And so this is basically what it looks like. And I've gotten a ton of use out of it already. And I have to say, this actually conceals my under eye circles quite nicely, which um, is quite a task in itself because I have really deep, dark under eye circles. So I'm loving that. When I was at the store, um, there was a Marc Jacobs person there and they were trying to get me to purchase the primer. So what I said was, listen, give me a sample. I'll go home, test it out, see how it feels on my skin. I didn't want to spend, it's, it's really expensive. I think it's like $54, $48. I don't know, it's in the $50 range, which I think is really pricey for a primer. But, um, and I didn't want to spend the money on it immediately because I felt like, I kind of wanted to see how it felt on my skin before I went and made the investment. I know that I can return it, but who the heck wants to be bothered with that? So I did test it out. It's um, it's infused with coconut uh, milk, I believe. Where is it? So it's basically called Undercover, and it's the Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And I love the way it felt. It felt like I was applying a moisturizer on my skin. So I almost felt like when I put that on, I didn't really need much else, which was really nice. Um, so I, I did order it online. Um, I ordered it and I've been using it and I've been loving it. Definitely adheres nicely to the skin. I give it a few minutes before um, applying makeup and I find that it helps to keep the makeup in place. I am really loving it. So I ordered that. It almost looks like a pill and it's, it's very, very heavy. Um, the only thing is it's not exactly travel friendly. It is really heavy. I mean, you can certainly pour it into something. Um, it, the applicator is like this. You just pump the product out and you could certainly pump a few pumps out and put it into a little container if you're going to travel. But I don't think that I would travel with this and I don't think I'd want to waste the product inside, um, you know, on anything else. But whatever the case, I am really enjoying it and I will have a full review on the blog. The other thing that I ordered was the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, or is it? Remarkable foundation. There's been so much hype about this and I was very curious to try. And I'm going to tell you, I am loving it. I'm loving it. Loving, loving, loving it. It's really good. Like the coverage is phenomenal. Um, and I, I don't want to give it a full review other than the fact that I do really like it. So you'll be hearing about it on the blog. I don't really do negative reviews on the blog. If I don't like it, I just kind of put it to the side. I figure just because I don't like it doesn't mean somebody else doesn't love it. Um, or just because it's not for me doesn't mean it's not amazing on somebody else. So I like to give products a benefit of the doubt unless they really do something harmful to me that I feel that you should know, know about. But um, when I do love something, you definitely will hear about it. So I'll be talking about this on the blog. And I also invested in the brush that comes with it. As you can tell, it's dirty because I just used it on my skin. But this is the brush that comes with it. And this brush is spectacular. It's worth every penny. It is expensive. I get it. I know. But but oh my gosh, it is so good. The bristles are densely packed. They're soft, so they're not gonna, they're not abrasive on the skin, but they really distribute the product so nicely. I adore this brush. So I'm really glad that I invested. Um, this Urban Decay um, Glide On Pencil in Abyss. I just love blue eye uh, liners. And um, this one's a really nice one. And I'm going to swatch it over here. It's just such a fun color. I'm loving it. I'm having fun with it. Um, so that was that. And these, these liners are actually really nice. They really do glide onto the skin. I love that when you don't have to tug and pull to get product out. All right. This next thing that I got was... You know, I, I didn't think I was going to love it as much. And Serene, you hear her name every time on my channel because I love her. And she's my friend and her recommendations mean a lot to me. She's been loving this Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette. And 
When I went to LA last year to shoot the IT Cosmetics commercial, Serene and I spent a whole day together shopping and Serene was so sweet and she gave me the Amorezi palette which I still adore and sadly it was discontinued. I tried to get one for my sister and they're just limited edition and discontinued. So whatever the case, this is sort of similar to that. It's really, really pretty. The colors are so rich, so pigmented, so uh, versatile I feel like. There's, there's something in there for everybody. I mean some of the colors you might look at and think oh my gosh that is just not wearable and I can tell you that it is like that blue looks like such a shocking blue in a way actually it's not translating that shocking on camera but if you look at it, it looks like a royal blue um, and when I swatch it and when I wore it on my eyes the other day it was just so nice it was um, it blended beautifully onto my eyes. Now I have to blend it into my lip gloss, but it's really just very pretty. Um, so I'm loving this palette and I'm actually really glad that I did buy it. Moving on, um, this was one of those things that I saw at the store and I left behind, but I really wanted because it was just so pretty. So it's Marc Jacobs, uh, The New Nudes, and the, the name of the color is Eat Cake, okay? <laughs> and it looks like that and the color is just a beautiful nude and I love it so much I'll swatch it up here I'm running out of room to swatch look how pretty it's like a a soft like pink mauvey peachy corally nude enough adge adjectives there for you um but it's really nice it's so beautiful it's so moisturizing and it's just so special all right guys so the last thing that i got was the mark jacobs magic um marker <laughs> and i actually got a, a sample of this when was it was it was some sort of rewards oh i guess when um when sephora had the 500 point mark jacob rewards it came with a deluxe sample of this um eyeliner pen and it's like a felt liner and it is phenomenal like i put it on i could not get it off i mean it comes off with um with uh uh waterproof makeup remover um but but it that like you can rub your hand all over it like once it dries. In fact, I remember swatch. I swatched it on my um, hand, and I gave my girls a bath. And I'm giving them a bath. I'm realizing that this looks just as good as when I first swatched it. And I'm like, what's going on there? And I'm like scrubbing it, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and it's not coming out. So I was like, yeah, I need that. I totally need that. So for my um, online orders, I did get another one of these, and um, I did get a Sephora Rouge, Inf Rouge Infusion um, liquid lipstick, I suppose, and it's a gorgeous color that won't budge. It's that one right there, and it's a really pretty color. Um, actually, let me see if it has a name. Here it is in Peony. It's the color is Peony. It's really pretty. I did get a Kat Von D um, liquid tattoo liquid liner which is my holy grail li liquid liner and I did share it with my mom so I did give that one away to her because I have a brand new one and obviously now I have like a thousand of them so I share that with her another professional which I love Elizabeth and James perfume and actually the white one is my favorite another Lacatane Lacaton whatever <laughs> hand balm my favorite glam glow mask love these and a Makeup Forever, this is um, mascara, like Smoky Extravagant Mascara. So that was that. The other thing is, so you know all those promo codes that you put in? Um, <laughs> so this is everything I managed to score from, listen, you're going to take advantage. I spent thousands of dollars at Sephora. Certainly they need to give me some stuff back. So I scored three of these YSL new primer. These YSL primers are actually a really great option, I think, for transitioning into fall and winter. Um, they're a little heavier, but not heavy. Um, they just feel very hydrating, and I think they're going to be really nice um, for the colder weather. I did score this Glam Glow Flash Mud um, 
uh, brightening treatment, which I'm excited about. I'm a huge uh, Glam Glow fan. What else? Oh, this one was good. This was with my um, my vault purchase. <laughs> I got this YSL um, Lip Maximizer Collagen something or other. Look how cute that bottle is. Oh my gosh. Another Marc J Jacobs Noir Mod Noir perfume. Um, oh, I, I've been wanting to try the Cover Effects stuff. I don't really know how to use this. I'm going to have to read up on it a little bit, but everyone says it's really good, so we'll see. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I got a mini uh, Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD foundation, the liquid form, which I don't have. Um, I got, I don't know, Chloe must have come in my, my swag bag thing. An Anastasia um, brow power thing, brow power duo, yep. I got a whole bunch of these Makeup Forever primer things, which again are great for travel. Um, I got another Glam Glow little packet, great for travel. I got a couple of Lancome, when I say a couple, I guess I got three of these Lancome dual finish powder things. I got this. Oh, this is kind of fun. Urban Decay After Glow 8 Hour uh, Powder. Uh, what is this? Powder Blush? These colors are actually really pretty. They're fun. I'm going to try them. Um, okay, what else? So I got one, two. Um, I got a bunch of these. I don't know. The Send Pores to the Shrink Pore Dermabrasion from um, Dr. Brandt. So I got a whole bunch of those. And I got Hourglass um, Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free. Got a few of those. Um, some more Glam Glow. I think I'm well stocked for Glam Glow. I didn't have to pay for it. Kind of nice. An Amore Pacific um, Future Response Age Defying Cream with SPF 30. And lastly, oh no, and another one of those. So as you can see, I made out well with um, the uh, little promo codes that are available and the free samples. So that was kind of nice considering I probably spent a million dollars at Sephora. So um, if there's anything in particular that you do want to see reviewed, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching this very long video. I appreciate your support. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you enjoyed watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel. It mean the world to me. Don't forget I do have a blog. It's called Fashion Maven Mommy, so make sure you go ahead and visit it when you can. Uh, I do post a lot on there. Um, I don't post as much on YouTube, but definitely a lot on my blog. Uh, again, thank you so much for taking the time to view this. Stay tuned for more fun videos, including the Kat Von D Vault video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Bye, guys.